Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel today. How are you? Hope you're having a really good day today. And today I want to do a get ready with me using my Bossy Charm for my June month subscription box. And I just completed doing a unboxing of my first Bossy Charm subscription box. So stay tuned and click on that. I will leave it in the cards above so you can check that out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be getting ready to get ready with some of the products that are in the box. So I've already, you know, got my face done. I already primed my eyelids. So I will be using the Alamar Cosmetics palette and I am so excited to be using this palette. So excited. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go in with my crease shade. And I will be using Guana, Guana, Guantanamera. Guantanamera. It's this shade here. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. It's this shade at the bottom. And I am... It's a beautiful, like a rich burgundy shade. So I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetic Rose Gold Blending Brush. The color of the shadow really adheres to the primer on my eyelid. It's quite billable. There's no kick up in the palette. So I'm just going to blend that into my crease. So it gives us a very soft, almost like a plum red look in my transition. And I will come back and deepen that shade. I want to work on the eyes and get through this process quickly. And if you all haven't looked at Gabby's Instagram, she has wonderful looks, stunning looks, especially the looks she has done on Kathleen. They look really beautiful. And I think she also has been doing the looks for Kathleen on her KL Polish campaigns. So they are really gorgeous, stunning looks on her so I'm just blending it into the crease come back and blend another color 
So that's the Guatanamera, Guatanamera shade. And then I want to go in, I think I want to go in and take in Tropical. I'm thinking Tropical or Coco Taffy. Um, let me go in with let's play with tropical so I'm going to blend tropical right into my transition as well Woo! that is some pigment I'm just going to blend that up into my crease There is some kick up with this shade, but just gently press when you see it. Anytime you see kick up in a pan, just gently press your brush against the shadow in the pan so you don't pick up too much product. At least that's a tip that I do to help me to not use too much pigment from the shadow and I'm just blending that right up into the crease And I'm going to go back with Guantan, Guantanamera and, and take some more, take that back up into my crease. Braids do not want to sit properly and cooperatively cooperate with me in this video. So please excuse them. So that is my transition shades for my I look and now I want to go in with my outer crease shade and I will be taking cafecito cafecito like caffeine like brown cocoa cafecito and I'm going to I didn't show you the other shade so so far I've used Guatanamara here, Tropical here, and now I'm going to be using Cafecito here in my outer V. And I'm just going to deepen up my crease area. These shadows are really pigmented. They're nice and smooth, easily to blend.
So I have deepened up my outer V, as you can see here. So now I'm going to go in with my lid shade. So I'm going to start off. These shimmers are so gorgeous. I just don't know where to go. But I want to do this green color called Cilia. I'm going to use that color first. And this is Cilia here. That's that shade, and I'm going to apply that to my eyelid using my BH Cosmetics Rose Brush. Just a flat lid brush. Just look at that green. That oh, It's such a pretty color. I'm just going to work that color, work that magic into my eyelids. Woo. I don't know what it is about this time of the day. I get really drowsy, like sleepy. That is such a pretty color. Ooh. I cannot wait to see what Gabby puts out for her second palette. And I will go back in and blend in the shadows. But, ooh, I definitely feel this. Send me to Miami so I can really get my groove on. This is a gorgeous color. Let me go in with the next shade, which is, I'm going to use that Vara, Veridaro, Veridaro, very Adaro, this color here, this nice blue shade, and I am going to smother it all over my eyelids. Ooh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what's beautiful about these pigments is that you can layer it to get a intensity without even wetting your brush Woo! I'm telling you so good together I am loving it so let me go back in and touch up my 
outer V once again to merge those colors in nicely. But I don't want to take over that green at all. find a nice I'm gonna take my elf blending brush and just kind of blend everything in That is the look so far. Mm. So I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take Cafecito all the way down to my waterline to smoke out the bottom part. just on the corners so I just want to give a nice depth to the lower lash line and I do apologize if you see water trickling at any point of this part there's nothing I can do about it it does what it wants now I'm going to take that green and layer it right underneath here So basically just being adjacent to that green on my lid and taking it right underneath and making it fall underneath one another. And then I'm going to take another color and I am going to use this gold. I think I want to use, yeah. I'm going to take this gold and take it to the inner corner. The gold is called El Melacone. El Melacone. And this is the gold color here. El, El Melacone. I hope I'm pronouncing that well. I'm just going to put that at the inner part of my eye and this color is so pigmented Woo! come through and melacone come through oh I just love it I love it. So let me go and take La Costa into my top inner corner using the same brush. This is just a blending. No, this is a concealer brush, actually, an elf concealer brush. And I'm just going to pat that La Costa, which is this color here, up into my inner corner 
I'm going to dab it in there because I want to use all the colors in this palette. That is so, it is so pretty. Take that in. Take that in. Just like that. And I think I'm done. I, I wish my water lines would be cooperating, but again, it has a mind of its own. And I'm just going to add a little bit more of Guant Guantanamara. I'm just deepening a little bit on the edge. So that is that, and then I'm just going to take some of La Costa and just kind of highlight along my brow region, even though I don't really do anything with my, even though I don't really do anything with my brows, I just like to just highlight a little bit. Along there, like so, just give it a little bit of shine. And there you have it, that is my completed eye look using the LMR cosmetic palette and I really love the shades from this palette I use all four shades on my eyes and I wanted it to look very stunning I'm just going to pat in some more green because I want that green to come through, honey. Come through. Don't let these other shades outshine you. Come through, green. Yes. So, that is the palette. The LMR Cosmetic Eye Look. And I am feeling it. So let's jump ahead. Let's move along, shall we? So I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes and Glam Black for my mascara. Because like I said, I'm planning to use these mascaras up. So they are not sitting around drying up like a raisin in the sun and they need to be used for a good use. Yeah, my waterline made a mess of that. 
color at the corner of my eyes. And there's nothing to the palette. It's just the way my eyes roll. It wants to give me a hard time. Don't you just love it when your waterline wants to, you know, be all extra? Want to add extra when it wants to. Show out basically. So that is my full eye look. Ta-da! So let's go on. I already done my blush. I used the NARS 4014 in sand. And I'm going to show you what the color looks like. It looks it's like a purple color to my cheeks. And this is what it looks like. And it has like some gold reflex. And the blush. I really love it like i said i collect nars blushes i love them they last a long time so i use that as a blush so i want to use the highlighting brush that came in the boxy charm box so i'm going to be using let's see 522 tapered highlighting brush as you see here this brush and I'm going to go in with Mary Lou the bomb Mary Lou Manizer highlighter to highlight my cheeks and I got this Mary Lou Manizer I think off of hot look when the bomb the bomb has been seen many times on hot look for discounted makeup from their brand so this is what the highlighter looks like and I think I have her other sisters too somewhere in my collection so I'm just gonna and it's very pigmented so I just want to do a little bit on my cheeks not too much let's take down oops take some of that What you think, Kel? You think my highlight is blinding? Talking to my cat down below on the floor. The balm makes really good, really good highlighters. If you've never tried them before, I highly recommend them to you Woo! I highly recommend it so that is my highlight and the last thing is the Ofra Cosmetics long lasting liquid lipstick that came in the Bossy Charm in the shade Verona so I will be testing this color out out and this is what the doe foot looks like on the Ofer liquid lipstick. It's like a nude color. Feels really creamy.
have a nice sweet scent to it. Havana Unana. East Atlanta. And it really dries down nicely. Yes. So that is the completed look using all the beautiful gifts in the Bossy Charm from the June months. I absolutely love it. Sorry you keep seeing my whatever. The blue scrap of my workout gear. Workout gear under a dress. Whatever. But that is the completed look. I really love this entire look. I love the eyeshadows. Gabby really did a great job with the shade selection and giving that whole, I think, Latin theme from her country, representing those colors to her culture. I really like it. Ofer is a beautiful matte liquid lipstick, and I am feeling it. It's really nice. The Lussie highlighting brush from the Flawless Complexion set is really nice and soft. Gives that really illuminating glow to my cheeks. So I really love everything that came out of my Boxy Charm box. So I was glad to do a get ready with Boxy Charm for you all to enjoy as much as I did. So hopefully you like this video. If you got the June month box, how did you like it? Have you used everything? Have you played with the Elamar Cosmetic Palette? What are your favorite shades out of the palette? Um, sign off below. This show, you know, just send an emoji. You know, raise your hand to the roof. You know, if you're feeling the Elamar Cosmetics Palette. I think this is a really good palette. I can't wait to see what she comes out in the future for her eyeshadow palette. I know it's going to be the bomb. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a really blessed day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.